So when you think about fishing for catfish, what do you think of? Are you sitting on the bank on a hot summer night, campfire behind you, cooler full of beer sitting next to you, all the, the locusts and, and all the bugs just buzzing all around you? Well, if this is the only time that you're out fishing for catfish, is, fishing for, is it cat, cat fishing? Catfish fishing? Anyway, the point is, you are missing out on some of the most productive blue cat fishing all year long. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with cat fishing. I mean, I know cat fishing can also mean something else, um, but I think that's right. The colder temperatures make those fish easier to pattern. They'll seek refuge in deep holes where the water temperature is still warmer. Um, so you want to look for, you know, river bends, scour holes behind wing dikes, uh, you know, any tributaries that flow in, um, you'll want to look there. Any place where the water is going to be even a few degrees warmer is where you're going to want to throw your lines. So the first thing you're going to want to do to take advantage of this amazing time to catfish is to just look at an aerial map. Look on Google Maps or, or if you want to go old-fashioned and look at the paper maps. It's so whatever. Study the map and find all the channel bends, all the, all the potential scour holes, all the tributaries that flow into that particular body of water. And once you study that map, if you have a fish finder, it'll help a lot. Now, if you don't have a fish finder, you're not out of luck. It, it'll be a little bit more difficult for you, but it, you could still find those good spots. The trick is to study the bank. If, if you look at a particular bank and it's a very gentle, you know, gentle slope into the water, chances are once it gets out there 10 feet, it, it's not going to be very deep. 20 feet, you know, it'd be a little deeper, but it's, you know, chances are it's just going to follow that contour. But if you find a bank that's real steep, chances are it's going to just drop off. And, you know, 10, 20 feet out in that water, you might find 20, 25 feet of water, and that's where you want to be. So the second thing you need to do is something you need to do any time of the year when you're catfishing, and that is to find the bait fish. That colder weather congregates the bait fish, which congregates the catfish. So once you find one, you find the other. Having a fish finder will help you here a lot. Like I said earlier, depth is the important factor. In the wintertime, that generally means deeper than 20 feet. Um, that's a pretty general rule, like I said, but it, it usually holds pretty true on, on any body of water. Let's say you take your fish finder, right? And you're cruising along and your depth is less than 20 feet um, 15 feet we'll say and most likely that screen will just it, you'll just see the bottom and that's it it'll be absolutely nothing just a biological desert let's say you then move on to a place that's maybe 25 feet deep and that screen most likely will just light up on the bottom you'll see all kinds of bait fish and some bigger fish swimming around in there depending on how good your, your fish finder is but those are the places you need to look because that's where they're all going to congregate so once you locate those schools of bait fish, take the opportunity to throw your cast net a few times. Just don't throw your cast net where you plan to anchor up and fish. Uh, catch your bait, then move to the next hole uh, to fish. You, you most likely just scared everything away by throwing your cast net. So speaking of bait, that brings us to probably the most asked question anytime you talk about catfishing. Is that, what bait should I use? And the answer is always going to be the same. Whatever is abundant in that body of water you're fishing and whatever you can get your hands on um, that if in a perfect world that would mean like fresh shad or skipjack or moon eye or whatever it is that is common in that body of water sometimes you just can't have access to it and that's understandable fish with what you can i mean if you have to buy something to fish do it as long as you're fishing right however it still holds true that the fresher the bait the better frozen is okay um, if that's all you can get your hand on um, but, and I'm not saying that you won't catch things with frozen fish, but it's always better to have fresh fish. That's why I said if you find those schools of, of bait fish, throw your cast net, get some really fresh bait. The size of the bait depends on what you're going after. If you're going after just pure numbers of whether that's blue catfish, channel cats, or flatheads, the smaller the bait, the better. Um, you'll want to go small chunks, maybe like one inch pieces, um, and, and even downsize your hooks as well. Now, if you're going after big, trophy-sized blue cats, however, you're going to want those bigger baits. For whatever reason, blue catfish are still really aggressive in the winter. And if you 
only want to catch those big fish, you're going to want to use those big baits. Uh, the reason being, if if you're using small baits, I mean, that's just a wide variety of sizes you could catch on that. But if you use a big bait, only a big fish can put that in its mouth. So if you're going after big cats, use big baits. So the last tip to take advantage of this awesome time of the year to catch catfish is if you don't get any bites, you have no action within half an hour or so, pull in your lines and move. It can take a while to find those honey holes. And if you sit there, you know, for you know an hour or two hours without any action, I mean, that's just less spots you could get to, to find those fish. They're not going to be out roaming around like they do in the summertime. So if you don't have any action, move. The good thing is, is catfish typically frequent the same holes year after year. So if you find a spot that was good this year, chances are it's going to be good next year and the year after that, as long as you don't clear out everything and, and share your honey hole with everybody. So once you find those honey holes, keep it to yourself and you can ensure great catfishing. So if you've already put up your fishing gear till spring, break those fishing poles out and find out for yourself why many people prefer the winter time for catching catfish. Not only do those catfish congregate and make them easier to pattern, you don't have to deal with all the jet skiers and party boats. None of that getting pushed around by wakes. So if you like this episode, hit that like button and comment down below with your tips for catching catfish during the winter time. And as always, outsiders, stay informed.